to gravity or not to gravity that's today's question guys stay tuned for the final review Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So the auxetic journey for the head rackets is over with these gravities 2023 and what a ride it was. Wow. Uh, just heads off, heads off to uh, to head because they they really nailed it with the auxetic technology and i think they saved the best for the finals for the final iteration of their technology because the gravities are the last rackets in the heads line of rackets that receive the auxetic update and i am familiar with all the previous rackets with all the rackets with the auxetic technology except except the prestige rackets that's a shame i didn't hit with the prestige auxetic rackets but you know for me the prestige rackets they are really another level i would really love to hit with the with the prestige with the m i think with the mpl with the lighter prestige because i think that the other prestige rackets they are too much for me but anyway uh, if you ask me whether I should recommend you these rackets it is 
a definitely a simple answer one of the simplest and easiest reviews for me it's a yes it's a yes right from the start but before I, I start breaking these two records the MP and the tour version uh, let me tell you something about how you can support my channel I'm always leaving it to the last uh, seconds of the video but I will switch it now I will switch it so you can hear it at the beginning and you know it's done so you can support my channel by buying me a coffee it's high I highly appreciate it and you can click the super thanks button and you can donate me some of your love through the PayPal and all these three options they give you an option to ask me a question and you can ask me a question I will answer it as best as I can and the best answers that make sense for all other people that can help other people will be also presented in one of my videos of course with your consent so guys if you want to support my channel you have these three options and the fourth option is you can visit my store my art shop where you can buy some of the designs I've created with Rafa Serena Novak and Roger you can put them on your t-shirt or on your cup of tea or whatever you want there are really hundreds of objects you can interact with the designs and you can put there almost anywhere and the shipping is really reasonable war worldwide so guys check out the link below and now to the gravities well I really felt in love uh, I really like these records they are so solid they really offer what they or they really produce what they offer and I will start with the MP because this is the record I'm gravitating gravitating more to because the parameters are fitting my uh, style they are fitting my weight because I'm a light nimble fast guy who wants a fast swinging record and if you didn't see the quality control test just check it out because there are some interesting numbers that don't quite match the numbers that are on the tennis warehouse website so I will start with the parameters obviously so the MP version it's a 295 gram racket so it is really light super maneuverable really easy to use very fast during the swing and I like that the head size is 645 square centimeters or 100 square centimeters so a generous massive sweet spot as advertised by head and when you look at the head shape it's an oval head shape there is a plenty of space because the head shape is wider at this position and the throat is really long it really reminds me the prestige records but with a with a broader wider head shape for that massive sweet spot but but all the other things like the feel and the control is there it is really similar to the to the prestige series uh, the balance is 325 so it is well balanced to the hand once again for great control and great maneuverability now the swing weight that is something that is a little bit different from the numbers that are presented on tennis warehouse website so tennis warehouse is saying that the mp version has swing weight of 319 319 and immediately when i was swinging with this racket i felt it is super fast so a lot easier to swing with than a 319 and this particular stick i measured it you can see it in the quality control video it has only 311 311 swing weight points super easy even for a lower intermediate players even for some beginners yeah no problem to grab this racket and hit with it but as you will see in the quality control video uh, there were some issues with the weight and with the balance so this racket or this particular racket is balanced more to the hand it is a little bit lighter than the 295 gram it feels like a 290 gram racket so there are like 5 gram 
five grams missing and those five grams missing somewhere in the body of the racket translates to the eight point minus swing weight compared to the numbers on the tennis warehouse website now the flex which is something that people are always asking about how flexible are these rackets or rackets in general and these are one of the most flexible on the market so it's just 59 for the mp version super plush uh, super flexible so uh, you have really nice feel there is no discomfort or whatsoever the racket bends really well so the ball stays longer overall on the racket and it translates into outstanding control that is really exceptional for this uh, unusual head shape and head size uh, and when we look at the beam it's just 22 millimeters so a really nice control more control oriented beam maybe some people would would suggest that the mp version should have a beam of like 22 and a half or 23 millimeters a little bit thicker for more free power maybe maybe because uh, lots of the mp rackets or the rackets that are for the free power have thicker beams or wider beams let's say but this one is for more control and it really reminds me the prestige rackets so 22 millimeters constantly all over the sh shape or all, all over the frame so it's a really nice solid uh, feeling frame and now the string pattern quite unusual also because we are all familiar with 16 by 19 but this one is 16 by 20 so there is one extra cross strings for extra little bit more control and feel and touch so yeah really really nice it works really well and i'm i don't i'm surprised actually that not not more there are no more not more rackets that are using this kind of hybrid between the spin let's say spin pattern and the more control oriented spin pattern because it works it works really well it can also save the the strings just a little bit it can help to maintain the tension just a little bit better so it can also save the strings a little bit better for a longer durability and the final number is for the recommended um, tension of the strings you should put on so according to uh, head it is written on the head obviously it is 22 and up to 26 millimeters so now how the rackets play so the MP is super easy, super fast during the swing. You can swing it like crazy for three hours non-stop without any break and you will feel just fine. Are there any issues with the rackets? Yeah, just a little bit, but I would not call it an issue. I would call it, well, I would call it something you should expect when you buy this racket so which of the shots i enjoyed the most i actually enjoyed the most the flatter shots you know the type of shots that you can see by by a rublev for example you can also see really uh, well, really similarities to the zverev shots so these are the two guys who are endorsing uh, the gravity series so uh, when you, if you are a fast hitting guy or or, gir or girl great record for juniors by the way uh, this record will offer you the speed and this record really offers the, the 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 power transition so when you play against a hard hitting opponent and you hit really well with this one it really transfers the energy back pretty easily really easily i would say and you don't you don't really feel that you are holding uh, such a light racket in your hand now the problem is when you are hitting a lower paced ball but with a high topspin with a higher bounce 
then the MP feels like there is a um, lower plow through to really overcome the opponent's top spin and to drive the ball back with a higher speed. So where there, when there is a ball that comes with a lower speed but with a higher RPM, the MP struggles to, let's say, overcome the rotation of the ball, of the opponent's ball, and to generate the free power. So that's what I, what I, what it distinguishes from the tour version, which is more powerful in in the shots where are you hitting? Let's say you are you are trying to hit a, a winning shot from center of the court and from the middle of the court when you receive a slower ball from your opponent and you just want to smack it and kill the ball. The MP is in that sense kind of underpowered. The next thing where the MP struggles are the volleys. So when you hit a flat ball from your opponent, fast flat ball, you can feel that the racket is, is underpowered, is a little bit unstable. So great for the touch volleys, uh, slower balls and so on, but when you are against really, really a fast hitting opponent, I don't recommend uh, going up to the net and trying to finish the point on the net because you will struggle with the, with the, with the powerful shots from your opponent because this racket is really kind of wobbling and, and shaking in your hand. Uh, but from the from the ground stroke, from the from the baseline, this racket really shines with the with the full swing, fast hitting shots. Uh, so you might be asking why I like the MP so much. Why I like the MP actually better than the tour? Exactly for the for the freedom of the of the of the swing. Let's say so I. I am not, I'm, I'm at no point during the rally, I'm not late, at, at no point, I'm always at point, I'm always hitting the ball, let's say, correctly. Has it its downsides? Yes, sometimes I feel like I need more plow, I need the more plow through, but I kind of sacrifice it for the freedom of the swing, kind of. So I don't want to feel that lag. I don't want to feel I'm struggling, I'm fighting with the racket. I just want that the racket just follows my orders and I can excuse the little bit less stability. And of course, you can customize the racket. That's it, just put like one gram, two gram, two gram, so, so you get a 300 gram racket. Because I think that this three, this when it, was a 300 gram it would be just perfect it would be just perfect maybe less maneuverable but at the end of the day just five gram does it make any really big difference in the stability yes in the plow through of course too so so as you can see the 311 swing weight i measured for this record is really low i would rather like it to see uh, it higher about the 319 320 and then it would be perfect but anyway i really like this stick also on surf super fast super easy to create spin to create that kick surf really really great and guys if you are uh the the the, the person who hits a little bit more flat who has the let's say the semi-western uh, grip kind of you, you you're trying to to hit more like a, like let's say like like Roger not not this one you know this grip the western grip but you know the semi-western or even the the eastern grip this racket works really great and and when i was hitting today with zdenek with this stick and also with the tour uh the next friend came to 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 our training and and when he was watching us hitting with this racket uh, just hitting from the middle of the court it was super fast and he was amazed by the speed of this racket he was like wow and that's just the mp 
and the, the shots were super fast I felt super confident because I could I could uh, transfer the energy so easily from the opponent's shots and I was hitting against Denek and he had the RF 97 version 11 customized with the overall weight of two of uh, 363 gram so that's more than a 50 gram difference I mean strong 50 gram strong difference and I was able to to overcome his fast shots with this light racket because you can swing so fast that you can overcome the fast ball because you are always at point with this racket uh, but of course, yeah, sometimes the stability is not that great, but overall very, very solid, fast swinging racket with all the features you want in a modern stick. So I really feel like I'm holding a nice, light baseball bat. And yeah, just outstanding. And the Auxetic, once again, such a nice connection to the ball, nice sound, nice feel no arm issues whatsoever and the racket was strung with some poly i believe it's a head hawk or some head hawk touch or maybe head links so yeah it really fits the racket really well so i'm really happy with the mp now to the tour to the tour guys so immediately switching to the tour you feel like, like you are getting a 20 gram heavier racket, but it's not the truth. The tour is, let's turn the page. The tour is 305 gram racket, so just 10 gram heavier. But these 10 grams, they translate into much higher uh, plow through, a lot higher swing weight. So when we jump to the parameter, because the head size is the same, 100 square inches or 645 square centimeters it's 320 millimeters balance so once again balance nicely to the hand for the great maneuverability and the swing weight i measured guys i measured 325 and there comes the controversy because on the tennis warehouse website they put a number that is really weird for this type of racket they put number 314. No, it's not, it's not possible that a 305 gram racket has 314 swing weight. It is possible only when they measured a bad quality controlled racket, which is possible. Also, in the United States of America, they are getting lower grade um, rackets, as someone stated under the quality control video for these rackets so i measured also the other specs like the balance and the overall weight and they fit almost almost perfectly so don't believe in the number of the swing weight on the tennis warehouse website the truth is that the tour version has swing weight above 320 and this particular one has 325 and it fits the racket really greatly what is what is uh, interesting is that the ra for this stick is 63 and for the previous generation was just 16 61 so there is an increased stiffness for this racket for more power and for more stability how does it translate into the comfort it's really good once again it feels really great thanks to the auxetic technology which is in this part so uh, the biggest difference from the mp version with this is the stability is the plow through which you can see on the volleys so wh when i grabbed the tour i felt a lot better on the volleys I felt the stability, I felt the control, <clears throat> I felt I can overcome the hard shots coming from my opponent, I felt uh, much more confident, let's say. So if you are a doubles player, grab the tour, grab the tour. I think most of the doubles players, actually doubles are super aggressive, you know, fast, serve, net, volley, bush, whoosh, it's like three shots and it is over. 
it is like a shoot when you are on a shooting range when you are playing doubles so there is no time no ball bouncing because you are playing mo most of the times volleys when you are approaching the net you know so there is no hesitation no time for for for, for let's say slowing the ball it is always coming super fast because when you are closer and closer to the net there is not enough space for the ball to actually slow during the flight phase so the, the, the speed of the ball when you are hitting the, the, the ball on the net is a lot higher compared to the speed of the ball when you are standing at the baseline or behind the baseline and that's where the magic happens for the tour it makes sense to grab this type of racket for doubles super stable uh, m much more stable than the MP uh, a lot a lot higher plow, plow through let's say uh, so if you are an aggressive player who is gravitating for for uh, for a style of tennis that you are constantly trying to get more and closer to the net let's say this one is a great option so what are the negatives so, so the negatives guys but only for me let's say is that i felt the weight i felt the weight mostly i would say during also during the serve where i kind of felt i don't control the racket as i would like to i was like fighting with the racket just a little bit and when you are when you are tired when you are exhausted and you don't feel your best then the tool will tell you that you will definitely be a little bit lagging so the racket can can outpour out sorry outperform you and that's not good that's not good so that's why i prefer the mp version where i don't run out of gas at at no situation at no point and that's why you should really consider when you are buying a tennis racket what for for purpose you are buying the racket so guys great 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 and to sum it up to sum it up so uh, I think I think that when someone would ask me a question and you will ask me the question and you are asking me the question many times under uh, the videos which of these which of the auxetic rackets I would buy so you know that I named the extreme rackets, the best rackets, the best frames from for 2022. So they are already in that category of the, let's say, Hall of the Fame uh, frames. But that was 2022. For 2023, we have the radicals and we have the gravities. And I like the gravities more guys the radicals are too demanding for me they they are kind of constantly pushing me to error let's say they are pushing me to 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 my limits and to my boundaries and at my at my position and at my training frequency it's not uh, it's not something I could I could really hang handle for a long time. These rackets with a bigger head size, but still with the kind of co more control oriented string pattern, with the nice 22 millimeters beams that feel really solid. These rackets are in the sweet spot and they have the massive sweet spot so I can hit from any position I feel confident I'm not hitting the 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 the, the bad shots let's say with the with the frames with the frame and I feel like these are rackets I can grab have fun with uh, I can win points I can master I can master these records kind of I can really I can really uh, take the best of the best from these records without any compromises without leaving any juice in myself 
Uh, and that wasn't the case with the radicals. I, I always felt with the radicals like they are kind of extracting too much from me and there is nothing left for the for the next shot and for the next phase okay if it, if, it, if i was okay with my legs if i if i was fit enough the 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 radicals were great but when i slightly felt a little bit off the records were also telling me that hey man you are you are lagging you are lagging behind you need to try harder but if it's not the, your best day, you just need a racket like this that will give you the sense of always being in a control of the situation. So guys, really great intermediate, upper intermediate and advanced rackets. The MP, really the MP, super easy to use, even for women, juniors. Just grab this racket, it's fantastic with the auxetic, it works, had saved the best for, for, the, for the gravities. And the final, final thing I didn't mention is the design. So once again, the design is more mature, is more serious, but still is a, it's, it's a joy to look at the frame. If you look at, look at the, the name of the rackets and the color, it's really it's a really nice solid frame uh, and when I showed it to to my friend to, to the second friend who came to watch us during the training and he grabbed the records and he was like wow these records look really uh, the, the aesthetics of these records is really solid it's a record that you would present on any occasion uh, if it is tournament or training, these records just look great, great, great and nice details and nice touches. I like the colors and so on. And, and I like the fact that they, they maintained uh, kind of the, 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 the DNA with this and this also and, and this part of the gravities. You can definitely distinguish that this is a gravity record but they got rid of the two color the two colored scheme you know there was the one color and the second color for each of the sides of the racket and it felt kind of you know it felt fresh but at some point i was like it's uh, it's like a children's racket or something like that you know but with these rackets, with the design, they really, I think, nail it and really proper, nice, more serious design. So guys, there you have it. This was my review. It was kind of flawless, but you know, you have to expect from the MP little bit lower stability, as I told you. And, and, and you, you expect that, you expect that. It's, so I would not call it a negative or something like that. It's in the parameters already written, so you need to expect that. And the tour is exactly like it should be. It's a tour record, so no need to customize it whatsoever. One thing that I'm kind of really pissed off, let's say, a little bit, and had, and it happened once again. It happened with the radicals and it happened also with the gravity racket where it is so the grip at the end of the racket during one of my returns it once again slipped slipped look at that once again it, that it, it 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 went like this this should not happen never ever so when you look at when you look at it and I make a photo of it there is this strange under their grip there is this strange uh i would say it's, it's like fur 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 let's say it's like fur there is no glue on it i don't know why so the main grip should be really glued to to the handle really really well but this feels like it's just you know it's just without any glue so it doesn't really hold on the grip. So it's, it's really easy to put it like, like this away. So 
there must be some 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 problem with it during the manufacturing so some problem with the glue or, or with the with the tape with the gluing tape I don't know what what is it but it doesn't really hold so it should it shouldn't happen never ever so that's one thing that guys had had in Austria you know uh, actually my neighbors you know we are really close to each other in Austria and I'm playing for a team in Austria so maybe I should I should go there and show them this this problem and tell them guys no 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 you should make it better try harder and yeah that's the that's the actually that's the biggest biggest problem with this with these records let's say so guys we are at the end of the gravity 2023 auxetic ampian tour review so if you like it you know what you can do how to support my channel and i'm and i'm uh I'm guessing that lots of you will ask me a question. Should I switch from the previous generation to this one? Should you switch? If you have the money, it's definitely yes. Definitely yes. There is no like wait for, uh, you know, discount and so on. This version is definitely better than the previous one. Uh, if you don't want to invest in this freshly released record, of course wait just a little bit wait you will see a discount in the upcoming months for these records and then just go for them and buy them because they are they are really good they really nail it with the gravity so yeah gravity is probably one of the one of the records for the records of the year 2023 trophy yeah so guys, that's all for now, and as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to enjoy tennis, play tennis every time, every day, and don't forget to enjoy the main new variety. Bye guys. Push. A rovnáme. <laughs> Neboj. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line!